Right then, hello again folks. Before I go on to my main topic, uh, two things. First thing, you will notice that X Army Pass 49 Talks, my main channel, the one with 42,000 plus subs, is no longer on YouTube. But don't worry, it's not been deleted. There's a feature which you can use if you're a creator, which means you can either delete your channel or hide it. I've decided to hide my channel, so it's only temporarily off your screens. Now, I've got two strikes. Um, somebody, I know who it is, is going through my videos and systematically uh, getting them deleted. These were videos, ironically, that YouTube monetized when they came out. There were no problem back then when YouTube was making a load of money off the back of them, and I wasn't. But now, for some reason, they're all getting chucked off for hate speech. Free speech is not hate speech, folks. It really isn't. If you think like that, then I can't help you. I really can't. Anyway, so all I have to do is simply wait 90 days, August, I think, um, and then my channel will automatically appear. You can't kick me off permanently. I've still got this channel, and I'm more careful with this channel, so... We'll be doing this. We'll be doing this dance until the end of time, or until my uh, the person who's doing all this expires. And looking at the state of him, that won't be long. Right then, onto the main subject of my channel. Oh, before I go into my main subject, uh, I want to let you guys know if you want to support my channel in any way, it's not mandatory. Then I'm now on buy me a coffee, or as I like to call it, buy me a beer. I don't like saying buy me a coffee. It's like I'm asking you out on a date. I'm a bloke, buy me a beer, whatever, if you want to support me, if I brighten your day, if I make you giggle, if you like what I do, if you like Mandy, then please go ahead and do so. Um, the lefties don't like that either, so there we go, that's another way to give them a kick in the bollocks. Right then, the George Floyd statue. Oh my God, where do I start with this one? The George Floyd statue. This guy is getting closer and closer to canonization and sainthood. He will be made a saint, folks. It's been pushed that way. It was basically a, a career criminal, a fentanyl and meth addict. He was a junkie and he liked to beat women. Those are facts. Those are irrefutable facts. His police record can be seen online. You can check what kind of guy he was or what kind of monster he really was. And they've now got a statue of him. There's a statue of him topless sat on a bench and i think it's in minneapolis i don't care where it is the fact that this statue exists is a slap in the face i think to the men women uh whatever you identify as person thing object who actually contributed to the betterment and progress of society and there are black people there who've worked hard all their lives where the statue is They've contributed to society. They've done good. They've kept within the law. Normal, contributing, decent human beings. All right? Whatever your skin colour. And there's no statue for you. Yet this twerp gets a statue immortalised in bronze. And I'm telling you now, right? The people pushing this are the Marxist Black Lives Matter lot. And they will... They will push for him to be canonised. I can see it coming now. They'll pop to the Vatican. They'll say, yo, Saint George Floyd now. Do you, th do you see the South American socialist Pope in the Vatican? Pope Francis the Pratt. Do you see him refusing that? I don't. I really don't. Give it five, ten years, maybe sooner. And George Floyd will be Saint George Floyd. This is the way it's going now. This is the way it's going. It used to be a time when to be mortalised as a statue, you had to be a great person, contributed to society, pay a shitload of money to politicians, whatever, be a some sort of decent guy. But now you can be a lowlife like George Floyd. And the next thing you know, this happens. All right, George Floyd didn't deserve to die that way. A court of law rules that he was killed by a policeman. Racism didn't even come into it. The guy wasn't convicted of racism. He was convicted of racism simply by Twitter, the court of unpopular opinion, and uh, the mainstream media. They completely screwed that guy's life forever. Now, he will now forever be known as a racist murderer. Um, 
you can find other things out elsewhere of what really happened, but I'm not going to go into that now. But the fact that this guy has a statue, I mean, my God, there are, it's just wrong, isn't it? Do you agree with me? I think I'm right on this one. It's not being, being racist. Uh, if Ted Bundy had a statue, I would be just as peed off as this guy. I mean, the way it's going now, a career criminal getting a statue. Ted Bundy might as well get a statue in Florida. As you drive into Florida State, there'll be a statue of Ted Bundy with a hammer. Could happen, couldn't it? These lefties are nuts. Twitter needs to be shut down. How do I get to Twitter? It's Twitter pushing this crap, isn't it? It really is. Twitter needs to die. It has too much influence. It's, it's wow. My God, I am lost for words. I really am. I really am lost for words on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments, please do. So please do that. Share, subscribe, support me if you want to. Whatever. I like engaging with you. And you will never, ever kick me off YouTube. <laughs> Until the next one, Roger Trout.